Ladies and gentlemen, a warm hello from Leverkusen in Germany to you in Taiwan. My name is Markus Steilemann. I am the CEO of Covestro, one of the world's leading manufacturers of high-tech plastics. I would very much like to have attended this important conference on site. But unfortunately, the corona pandemic is currently thwarting all travel plans. And not only that, COVID-19 presents unprecedented challenges to all of us around the world. In this respect, I very much hope that you are doing well and that you will be able to cope with the serious crisis as best as possible. But we also need to be aware, the pandemic is of utmost urgency at the moment, but it's not the only problem humanity is facing. We must not lose sight of all the many other challenges that are developing slowly and often can be hardly noticed. You are all familiar with these challenges which are addressed in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I give you just a few examples. Hunger. While in parts of the world the supermarkets are almost overflowing, 800 million people do not have enough to eat. That is more than 10% of the world's population. Poverty. 4 billion people live on less than $8 a day. They are happy when they can call a bicycle or a gas stove their own. Four billion, more than half of the world's population. Climate. Humanity blows more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. In 2020, there was a slight relaxation due to the corona effect. But the year before, emissions had reached the new record of nearly 37 billion tons. Growth of cities. This is where 70% of the global carbon dioxide emissions are produced and nearly a third of all city dwellers have to live in sprawling slums. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I could extend the list of such examples virtually at will. I just want to emphasize the sense of urgency. Two thirds of the time has already elapsed to implement the SDGs. We have only a decade left to change the situation of mankind for the better. But I'm optimistic. Corona has shown what is possible. If you really want it, just consider how many new ideas and initiatives emerged in the pandemic year. In my sector, the chemicals and plastics industry is doing everything it can to encourage this. Chemistry is, so to speak, the mother of all industries, because many other key sectors depend on it. Without chemistry, our modern everyday life would not be possible. So it is obvious that chemistry is also one of the key sectors for sustainable development in the sense of the SDGs. We at Covestro are particularly committed to these goals because our company has an intrinsic drive, a purpose. We express this in a few words. We want to make the world a brighter place. Each of the 16,500 employees around the world wants to do their part. And from this attitude, new innovations emerge again and again. Innovations that lead to sustainable products, close to the needs of our customers and people's real life. Our goal is to create a product portfolio that is fully aligned with the SDGs. Our innovations are also aimed at our production. We want to make them as resource efficient and low emission as possible. What does that mean in concrete terms? I want to show you that with regard to the four challenges I just mentioned. Hunger, poverty, climate, cities. Hunger. In theory, humanity could have enough to eat. A big problem is that so many foods does not reach people because it is spoiled on the way. This applies to 30 to 50% of all harvests is cropped. Effective cooling chains, however, can help and this is where plastics come in. For example, high-tech foams whose ingredients Covestro develops and manufactures. With them, not only virtually every fridge is insulated, they can be used along the whole supply chain. From the warehouse to the truck to the refrigerator in the supermarket. Covestro is working on reducing the size of the foam pores to increase the insulation performance. Poverty. With special high-performance plastics, we help small farmers in Southeast Asia and India for example, to stabilize their income. From these plastics, novel solar dryers are built. 
with such dry as unsaleable harvest products which would otherwise rot are processed into a dry mass. It can be used to produce dried fruits, fruit bars and chocolates. In this way, crop losses can be avoided and the income of the farmers can be secured. Climate. Instead of blowing carbon dioxide into the air where it harms the climate, you can use it in a meaningful way. With intensive research, Govestro has succeeded in using the waste gas for plastic production. We can put up to 20% of carbon dioxide in an important plastic building block. This helps save crude oil, which is the conventional raw material. More and more end products based on carbon dioxide are being marketed. It is already in mattresses, sports floors and car components. Our most recent research success is insulation panels with carbon dioxide content, which can be used to insulate building against heat and cold. That brings me to my fourth theme, which is the growth of cities. Urbanization continues to increase, with two out of three people expected to live in urban areas by 2050. Already, cities consume more than two-thirds of the world's energy and generate more than 70% of global carbon dioxide emissions. We want to enable city dwellers to be able to live in a climate-friendly way. This can be achieved by making renewable energies more efficient and cost-effective. For the interior of wind blades, for example, Covestro has developed a new kind of adhesive that makes them much lighter. This increases the yield. At the same time, the rotor blades can be manufactured more quickly. This leads to lower costs. Ladies and gentlemen, from these examples, you can see how diverse the role of chemistry and plastics is to help achieve the SDGs and realize a truly sustainable world. To make a decisive impact in the next 10 years, however, what we need is not only the sum of the individual measures in chemistry, industry as a whole, aid organizations, politics and civil society. What we need is also a unifying vision, a band that wraps around everything. The global vision that Covestro wants to realize with all its strengths is the circular economy. We want to help make it the new guiding principle in the economy and society. Our past behavior patterns are obsolete, producing, consuming, throwing away. The current path is a dead end. Instead, we need to use products longer and more often. And especially when it comes to the end of life, we mustn't simply throw them away, but recycle them. After all, Used plastics, for example, are a valuable raw material and substitute for crude oil. We also need to use biomass and carbon dioxide as a raw material as much as possible and to circulate the carbon that is within them. And if you also switch to renewable energy, climate-intensive industries such as ours have the opportunity to produce in a circular and greenhouse gas neutral way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, of course, an immense undertaking and a very long journey. But we at Covestro are determined to embark on it. Because we do not only meet our responsibility for protecting our planet. By fully embracing the circular economy, we also can and want to promote sustainable growth. This increases prosperity and enables more social participation. So I would like to ask you, please do help establish the circular economy concept worldwide. Help to change the way people think and act. Then we are on the right track to say in 10 years time, the SDGs have arrived in people's lives. Yours, Marco Steilemann.